What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today, thanks to NZ Soccer Shop, we have got a massive unboxing for you. Five pairs of brand new football boots and at the end of the video, you guys get to choose which pair you would prefer out of all five models. But let's get straight into the first one and we're going to pull out this one to the side. And what do we have? Big Adidas box. Take it out. As with all of Adidas's elite level boots, we've got a bag there and also some spare sock liners. The nice thing about these Adidas bags is they actually come in two separate parts, which is nice to keep the boots separate, and also a pair of the Comfort sock liners, which are much more soft to touch, almost like a suede like material, but really classy, and these ones are the ones that I actually prefer myself. But the first pair of boots we're looking at are the X17 Plus Pure Speed. So last time it was the Pure Chaos, but this time around we've got the Pure Speed. And the first thing to mention is that we had the 17.1s in, but this upper is so much better compared to the 0.1s. Much thinner, softer and more flexible, which is exactly what you want from the Pure Speed. Now, of course, this is the first Pure Speed since its new upgrade and it's included in the Dust Storm pack by Adidas. Now, the white and black colorway is not just a design, but it's actually a dotted application, a bit like NSG, but it almost feels a little bit more aggressive than that. Definitely more aggressive than what you feel on the 17.1. Now, one modification that you'll find on the 17 Plus compared to the 16 Plus Pure Chaos is around the hill counter. We've got an added bit of synthetic going across just to make sure that hill counter is stuck to the upper as good as it can be. So almost identical to the 16 Plus, Plus Pure Chaos. The 17 Plus Pure Speed also comes with a tech fit collar. It's been changed ever so slightly. To me, it feels a little bit more compressive. So a tighter fit is gonna be expected compared to the previous model, which is definitely a good thing because I did find on the Pure Chaos, it didn't actually fit around my ankle as snugly as I wanted it to. So that's definitely a good thing. But let's move on to the sole plate. Now again, sprint frame technology, and this is literally exactly the same as what you found on the Pure Chaos. Alongside that sprint frame sole plate, we've got those half canonical shaped studs, which just gives you a little bit more bite when changing direction and accelerating. So let's put the Pure Speeds aside and bring in our next pair of boots. And I'm pretty sure we've got the Pure Controls. Let's have a little look. Again, another string bag, just like the Pure Speed ones, two separate compartments, really nice touch. And also we've got a spare pair of sock liners again. This time, again, the Comfort ones, but they're perforated. So another nice touch. And as I said, I do prefer those ones. But let's look at the 17 Plus Pure Controls. And I absolutely love this colorway. Maybe one of my favorites of all time on the Pure Control Silo, white at the front, gradient effect, change it into black at the hill cup, and there's some solar touches. And this is seriously a pair of boots that I would look on the shelf and I would actually pick these straight up. So what is the Pure Control all about? Well, as you guys already know, it doesn't feature any laces. We can see that across that top portion of the foot. No laces whatsoever, very clean. It's not a thick material. It's a very thin synthetic and talking about synthetic, at the toe box, we've got Control Skin, which is such a nice synthetic by Adidas. I know in the past, they didn't have the best synthetics, but I actually rate this one really highly. I like it on the 17 for one prime knit and on the 17 plus, it's exactly the same, very thin, but also flexible and soft at the same time. So I've just mentioned about that prime knit upper being really high quality but another nice touch is that control skin collar now it's so much better than that first generation of collar that we saw from adidas on the 16 plus ace ranges but overall it's very thin very tight fitting so in terms of giving you a nice seamless tight fit around the ankle it definitely offers that i'm still not the biggest fan of collars overall but i do prefer the adidas ones over the nike dynamic fit collars so we've just seen the pure speeds but one thing that the pure control definitely has over the pure speed is that boost sole plate i'm not really sure why adidas didn't include it on the pure speeds would have been a nice touch but trust me on feet these feel incredible underfoot very comfortable and also a very cushioned feel i love the technology i like it on trainers so for it to be on a football boot i think it's definitely a good thing and hopefully it's here to stay for the long time now we've mentioned just how good these pure controls look in this new dust storm colorway but one thing you can't really see but you can feel again is the nsg texture across the top now, like I said, I don't think it really makes a difference to any kind of performance, but to me, it doesn't feel as aggressive as on those pure speeds we just felt. So I think Adidas also know that it's not making that much difference. So on their latest model, I think they've actually tried to enhance it ever so slightly. So we've had the pure speed, which I really like. Now the pure control, which I really like the colorway. So let's get into our third pair of boots. And this time around, we've got the Nemesis 17.1 Trainer. Now, as we can see, it's got that same colorway as the Dust Storm Nemesis football boots, but this time around, it's much more of a leisure shoe to wear to your training, wear to your matches. These aren't for actual use for football, but in terms of just being worn for lifestyle, I think these are great. 
So these Nemesis trainers are actually part of Adidas's Tango collection. Now of course a Nemesis has just come out, massive boot for Adidas with some new technologies. Now we can see it features that 360 agility bandage across the heel and also the top portion of the ankle, but also again around that forefoot region. Now this is all exposed on the boots. You see that it's got almost like a skin on top of it, but this time around to make sure they're incredibly comfortable and soft, there's literally no skin put on top whatsoever. It is just the exposed bandage. So trust me, when you have these on your feet, they are incredibly comfortable. That exposed bandage and also knitted upper just makes for such a nice flexible fit. It comes with laces, which again is a nice positive. I wouldn't really recommend wearing any kind of trainers that are laceless. I know some football boots like the Nemesis 360 Agility, those ones are laceless. I do prefer the ones with laces and that goes exactly the same for trainers. Now, one of my favorite things about these Nemesis Tangos has to be that midsole. It reminds me a little bit of the Adidas Tubulars. Very thick, very bulky, but it's got a very soft feel to it. So it almost feels like you're walking on clouds with them on. And as we can see, it's got some mesh bottom as well. So in the summer months, which it is at the moment, these are going to be great, very breathable, but overall one of the most comfortable pairs of Adidas trainers that we've actually had in the office. So let's put these lifestyle trainers aside and bring in another pair of Nemesis shoes, which are actually for football this time. So not for lifestyle, you can actually wear these for your football. And this is the Nemesis Tango 17 Plus. Now these are actually quality for indoor football. Tommy plays a lot of futsal. He's worn these and he said they're absolutely class to play in. Very thin and also give you such a slug and compressive fit because again, with all those Nemesis releases, it's got that 360 agility bandage. So one thing that we mentioned on those Nemesis trainers was it was completely exposed bandage and knit. But this time around on the Tango for your indoor football, it's actually got a skin on top of it around the toe just to make sure there's some durability so there's no kind of sole separation, but also to give the shoe a little bit more structure as well, which is great for an indoor football trainer. So one of the biggest selling points and also features of the Nemesis Silo has to be that jaw lock collar which features on the football boots but this time on the football shoe it's got that same jaw lock which is almost in that cut out triangular shape and also on the front portion we've got some grippy dots as well just to make sure that the lockdown is going to be optimal levels. Now one thing that I found when testing the Nemesis football boots just the back of the collar just dug into my Achilles ever so slightly so it was a little bit uncomfortable I've got a small blister I don't think it's as bad as some of Nike's McCrill dynamic fit collar football boots but it is definitely there and you can notice it especially after wearing them for about an hour's use. So flipping the boot over and taking a look at the sole and of course it's non-marking perfect for small sided football indoor and also on court but one thing that is absent on this trainer version for indoor football compared to the football boot ones for outside there's no torsion tape going across the forefoot exposed 360 agility bandage and then the skin across the front but no torsion tape which is definitely an interesting one by Adidas to leave absent on this trainer. So let's put these Nemesis Tangos aside and get into our fifth and final pair of boots sent by NZ Soccer Shop. And it is the Adidas X 17.1. So we featured the pure speed already, but this time around, we've got the exposed laces version, which are very popular. You see a lot of pros out there on the world stage wearing the 17.1 and also so many amateurs love this pair of boots and of course the big difference is we don't have a pure cut cover so these are much more traditional compared to the pure speeds so although these 17.1s and the pure speeds look incredibly similar trust me in hand they feel completely different and that goes exactly the same for when you actually have them on feet now the first big difference is the upper on the right hand side we've got the 17.1s and it just feels a little bit stiff and thick to me but the pure speeds much thinner much more soft and flexible so in terms of being high quality the pure speeds take you by an absolute mile compared to the 17.1s so hopefully you guys can see on camera but on the 17.1 instead of nsg we've got very small checkers which gives a very slight rough texture to it but as i said earlier in the video the pure speeds actually come with those dots the nsg and trust me when you run your thumb over the top it feels much more grip so when I actually try them out on pitch later, hopefully I'm going to be able to tell the difference between the 17.1 touch and the 17 plus pure speed. So as we can see, they both feature the same tech fit collar. So in terms of the overall fit, I think they're going to be quite similar. But one difference is when we look at the sole plates. Now on this side, we've got the 17.1 and that black to kind of silver gradient is actually underneath the sole plate. So it won't flake off whatsoever. This will stay the same for a long time. But the 17 plus, although it looks good for now, the actual graphic on top is applied onto the sole plate itself. So it might look really nice, especially compared to the 17.1, but these will flake off ever so slightly, which is a little bit of a shame. So guys, there it is, our mega unboxing sent to us by NZ Soccer Shop. So thanks again to them. But which one was your favorite in the video? Five to choose from, three pairs of boots and two trainers. So vote in the poll card now for your own personal favorite. But that is today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. 
Cheers.